Hi there, I'm Diane from Tagadian Cosmetics Rose and welcome on my channel. Today I want to share a few tricks and tips uh, about how to help your skin in winter. I mean like the face skin. Um, because obviously it's getting cold, your skin usually doesn't like it, it can get a bit dry, it can get a bit sensitive and it's really not the nicest feeling. And usually we get very panicky and think, oh my god, I need a new cream. We never know which one. If your skin is a bit annoying, it can take a very long time to find the right one. But, you know, just maybe changing a few things in your routine or adding a little extra things can actually help it a lot. I'm not a dermatologist, so it's very hard. I can't say, oh yeah, this is the right thing. You need to do that. Do it immediately. Um, but I've tried a lot of things. Uh, I'm quite obsessed with skincare. Therefore, maybe it can be helpful for you because maybe the only thing you need is one little change in your skincare routine, one little add up that doesn't even take that long or that much money um, to help you a lot, a great deal. Uh, starting with how you cleanse your skin. Most of the time we use very harsh cleansers when I truly believe you have to be the most gentle as possible. I love this Liz Earl hot cloth cleanser, cleanse and polish. Ugh. Um, product and also maybe a butter cleanser. Um, this one is the Organics Pharmacy. I know all of YouTube talk about the Hema Hardy Balm. I haven't tried it. There's loads of those little things around. I think even Boots has a sort of like cleanser like this. Uh, organic Pharmacy. I don't know. Organic Pharmacy is this one. Niels Yard has some. Uh, Lush has its Ultra Blend that works the same way. They are. The, they work the same sort of way. You just. They are either cream or balm that turns into an oil and you just massage them into your skin really gently, remove your makeup, it just gently lifts away everything that needs to be lifted away at night time or daytime, uh, morning time, however you do your routine. Uh, you use a hot cloth uh, that you put under hot water, rig it out, just use it to remove everything and it's very gentle, loads of them have calming ingredients and think about it, if your skin is dehydrated, lots of oil in this one, you have cocoa butter in this one or oh, your skin is going to drink on all that and it's going to save you one little extra step it's going to start the whole hydration process and the comforting process um, quite a bit already and in that case it's well maybe it's just going to be fine after and just using that every day your skin knows there's no reason to panic that it's never going to see any hydrating product ever again therefore it can just really help to calm down everything something else i use a lot is a uh, thermal um no mineral water spray. We use them a lot in France. It can seem a bit gimmicky but most of them have the goal of soothing your skin. So even though I can't pretend it's going to hydrate you a thousand times better, it soothes your skin. So if you feel you get a lot of that redness or tightness, just a good spray, just a good spray of it. It's really going to calm down uh, before getting onto, uh, into just putting your normal cream and therefore your skin is not as panicked. It's very calming. You can spray that during also daytime. Uh, maybe getting the smaller one there, <laughs> maybe in that case. Um, but it does help quite a bit as well. Um, in my October favourites, I was talking about floral waters. Again, I'm bringing them back because rather than buy a toner for the sake of a toner where you don't know what exactly it's actually doing to your skin, they are full of essential oils and active ingredients who actually help your skin. Um, this one is the flower blossom, orange blossom. Um, Toner, well, it's toner, floral water, whatever you call them. Orange blossom, rose, chamomile, uh, all those ingredients are very calming and comforting. So it's gonna help calming your skin, all that. So maybe the only thing you need is to change your toner and to, like a toner, like especially even if it's a, an organic one, it's not that expensive. So we're not really gonna kill your whole budget for the month and it can do a lot of good. And especially if you have one in a spray like this, you can just sort of, sort of really spray it around. Um, and yeah, easy breezy, nothing complicated. Something people forget all the time, face masks. Because we all think of face masks, you know, when we have a breakout, when we're feeling, you know, have dull skin and we want like a more of a brightening effect and A, Y, Z, we never think about them for hydration. And you have a ton of them, loads of them, and they are very efficient. I call them my lazy mask because you literally just slap them on. You have five minutes, just leave them on five minutes. You have an hour, just leave them on for an hour. You go in your bath, just do one of those. Your skin will drink whatever it needs. It literally is just gonna absorb everything. Uh, and it's literally, we have nothing to do. It's not like an exfoliation. You just put that on, your skin drinks whatever it needs, and it can bring a lot of comfort to your skin. And again, it can maybe help with that little extra boost that your skin actually needed. Um, 
but like it doesn't you don't have to change your day cream because maybe if you go for something richer your skin is not gonna like it and um, the minute I'm using either the Aven um, I think it's J yeah soothing moisture mask uh, I think it's around 10 pounds so it's not even that expensive or the new limited edition face mask by Lush I talked about it last time very soothing again it's supremely simple but it does a great job and again your skin just drinks whatever it needs and this is it and uh, even if you don't have time to do it daytime or to say like, oh, you know what, I'm going to think about it, I'm going to do my dishes, therefore I can slap that on, then I'll jump in the shower. Anyway, you can use a night one. Origins makes this great um, drink up intensive one. And okay, may not be the sexiest thing on earth if you have a boyfriend, because it can be a bit sticky, but you apply a really light layer of it. And in the end, it's just going to moisturize. Instead of using a night cream, you can do that every once in a while. It's more intense it really helps and uh, think about it like you're coming back from a party you're exhausted but you're having a meeting the next day you really don't want to look like hell the next morning oh just use a little face mask it already helps your skin to compensate the lack of hydration and you didn't really put that much effort into it another thing if you're a little bit of a skincare junkie as i am you might want to use a face serum now we all hear about serums, serum serums, what are they doing? For me, they are actually little super boot camp for your skin. So they're here to be the sort of like, you can do it, you can make it, we're here to help you, you'll be perfect, it's gonna get, get well. Um, yeah, I always imagine them like a little soldier being like, yeah, go, go, go. Um, okay, enough. Um, yeah, you see a lot of them, but actually just very simple hydrating when you see the new, ooh, it's gonna make you lose 10 year thing. I don't need that. I love this one by Rituals, which is the Intense Moisture Serum. I'm sure there's loads of others around, but I really love this one. Um, again, it's something you can use on your days where you feel like, ooh, ooh, hang on, what's going on there? Ooh la, ooh la, ooh la, ooh la. Not so good. Um, and okay, it's a bit more expensive, but literally, if you like, I think those ones, even if I use it every day, last me for about two, three months, a good three months at the very least. I use it day and night. If you use it every once in a while, I know my mom likes the same one, but she uses it just when she feels like she needs a little extra boots. It lasts her for a year. So it's not that much of an investment. It can really help, especially because you could put it exactly just where your skin feels dry and it could really help. Um, I know there's Kudali that does makes one as well. I think the Vino Perfect, Essie Baton always talks about this one. I haven't tried it yet. Um, but you know, you can. It, it could just really be a good boost and actually quite simple because it's not much. Like It takes you like, what? have five extra seconds in the morning and this is it or again if you really feel like you know you've done everything it still doesn't feel right you can use an extra oil that you can put in your cream I'm not meaning putting an entire thing of oil on your face because we all want to be able to get out of the door get ready and not have to wait for the oils to get in or anything but some things I use is some rosehip oil or maybe one of those boosting oil like this one is from Clarence it's um, blue orchid oil and literally you put one little drop there, one of those pipe that you think I've had that for two years and it's still not finished. Uh, you put one little extra drop in your moisturizer and it's helping, it's really comforting for your skin. It brings that little extra moisture and your skin feels way better. Or you can only use, I use the rose hip on its own at night. Rather than that, I put a few drops, I just pat it very gently into my skin. Again, my skin is going to drink everything, it's going to help. It helps on a lot of levels actually, rose hip. It's very good for those little acne scars. Um, that we pretty much all have, you know, if your skin tends to get marks quite a lot and uh, it's not the best thing ever, you know, just, okay, it's my, maybe a bit expensive when you buy, but you just put a few drops and you're good to go, or, you know, you're about to have a bath, put a little bit on your face, go into there, it's going to drink, it, everything is going to be drink up, and it's actually quite simple. Um, so there you go. I hope it's helped you finding some inspiration. Uh, I know it's always very hard because you never know what to go to, but hopefully, you know, it can be as simple as just using an other toner and your skin feels much better. Well, anyway, thank you so much for listening. I really hope it was useful. Let me know if you have any tips because I'm always looking for new things. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you're going to have a fantastic day. Mwah. See you soon. Bye.